when we talk about uh, vehicle and so vehicle tactics, uh, we need to consider that a vehicle could be static or dynamic. So when uh, we, <laughs> again, uh, if we are inside of a vehicle, we need to understand that if we drive an armored vehicle, we are going to apply a different tactics. If we, are, if we work with a, an armored vehicle, we are going to apply a different tactic. It depends even uh, which kind of uh, uh, attack we receive or which kind of action uh, we receive. Because uh, as always, uh, normally almost time, we start in reaction and not in action. So, uh, now we are going to talk about uh, vehicle in a static way. Uh, and first of all, I want to explain and we need to clarify the difference between uh, cover and concealment. Because this is an important concept. Uh, so many times we make, a, I, I saw, I read uh, a lot of things that, you know, we, we can have a lot of confusion uh, between those two points. So, cover is something that protects you about enemy fire from sorry from uh, enemy fire from uh, ballots from uh, fragmentation and is something that can offer you a safe point. But here we have many different specifications uh, that we need to take care about. Uh, for example, when we choose a cover, not only about a vehicle. Whenever we choose a, something has a cover, uh, we need to be sure that what we choose it for has a cover uh, is a strong enough for cover uh, for real ourselves. And another point, even if we are sure, even if uh, what we choose for cover is something that is hard enough for cover us from the enemy fire, we need to take care about the rebounds because sometimes. A lot of uh, people choose a cover, but they don't think about rebounds. And rebound can kill you as they uh, directly fire uh, from, uh, from your opponent. So uh, the cover is something that uh, cover is something that protects you. And concealment is something that hides you uh, from the enemy. Uh, observations from the enemy view but doesn't protect you from bullets doesn't protect you from fermentation that doesn't, doesn't protect you from sharpness or, or whatever so as a smoke grenade when we use a smoke grenade we use a smoke grenade not for as a cover but for hiding ourselves to move to cover uh, during our movement uh, from the enemy views from the enemy observation so this is very important. So remember, one thing is concealment, one thing is cover.